Hello to our 2020 graduates, families, faculty, and friends. I know this is not the commencement any of us really imagined. Today, our graduates will not be taking the glorious walk across the stage, arrayed in academic regalia, receiving their diplomas amidst the cheering crowd of family, faculty, and friends. The time to do that will come on the other side of the pandemic surge, and we look forward to that day. But today, even without pomp and circumstance, is a day that will stand out as special when we all look back on this years from now. Here in the midst of a devastating pandemic, we're joined together to celebrate uncommon courage and achievement. The graduates we honor today are special. You persevered with the spine of steel. You showed your mettle. You did what no others who came before you had to do. You adapted to remote teaching and learning and even defended your dissertations on Zoom. Earning an advanced degree can at times be a lonely pursuit, but it is not a path traveled alone. Traveling with you are your families, mentors, faculty, classmates, and all the unsung heroes who have assisted you along the way. We owe them an immeasurable debt of gratitude. And they are all with us today, celebrating virtually and in spirit, wherever they are across the globe. I speak for all the faculty when I say that we are profoundly proud of you, for your spirit, your heart, and your commitment. Together, we are going through a very trying and unsettling time Few of the things that we felt were certain just a few weeks ago and months ago remain so. But we are certain that we want to stay in touch with you. We know that we will eagerly await those times when you share with us the milestones along your life's journey. Packed into the concept of commencement is both accomplishments and beginnings. Commencements look back at graduates' impressive achievements, and look forward to what lies ahead. Through today's lens of the pandemic and the most severe recession and unemployment numbers since the 1930s, the temptation when we look ahead is to slip into pessimism and despair. We all have our days when we feel isolated, helpless, and overcome by fear. We feel as if we have descended to Dante's hell with its inscription above the entrance Abandon all hope, ye who enter. Yet, this is no time to despair or abandon hope. It is hope that has brought all of us here. The foundation of education from preschool to postgraduate is hope. We learn so that we can thrive in an unknown future. We teach others with the hope that the knowledge we impart will serve them well in a time yet unknown and unknown. You pursued your arduous course of study with the hope of contributing to humankind's knowledge and understanding. You studied at the Graduate Center, where our commitment is to advance knowledge for the public good. Your work is motivated by the hope that we can make life in this city, in this country, and in the world better. Don't abandon this hope, even when the odds are against you. You have proven you have so much to offer. We need you in this fight. We're depending on you, and we know we can count on you. I'd like to leave you with two verses of Arthur Hugh Clough's 19th century poem, Say Not the Struggle, Not Availeth. Say not the struggle, not availeth. The labor and the wounds are vain. The enemy faints not nor faileth. And as things have been, things remain. If hopes were dupes, fears may be liars. It may be in yon smoke concealed. Their comrades chase even now the flyers. And, but for you, possess the field. Congratulations, class of 2020. Godspeed.
Hello, class of 2020. Welcome to my modest home. We are not at David Jefferson Hall. We are not at Carnegie Hall. But still, we must celebrate. Super proud of you. We're incredibly proud of you. We're even more proud of you because you did it in such a difficult time. This is a remarkable moment, and I wish you all the best on the next phase of your journey. I'm sorry we can't get together in person, but even COVID-19 shouldn't stop us from celebrating this very important achievement. It's required persistence and resilience, creativity, and most of all, commitment. Those qualities will serve you well as you move on in your lives and your careers. Your intellect has helped you make it through. This is not an easy road and is not for the faint-hearted. What an amazing thing to be a graduate of the class of 2020 in New York City. I'm sure that we're sending brilliant minds and future leaders into the world and that we will be hearing about your great achievements for many years to come. You've made history in more ways than one. Well done. I salute you for your achievements and hope you stay safe and healthy and, of course, continuously productive. Learning doesn't stop on the day you graduate. It only gets better. It gets better because you stand tall. You stand confident, and you stand ready to support the causes and the people that matter to you. We are so proud of you. Now you know you have what it takes. You have the brains, the hearts, the emotions, the knowledge, the connections, the tools to make the world a better place for all of us. There are no excuses. Go ahead and make it happen, please. May the brilliance and the fighting spirit that got you to this point serve you well the rest of your life. The rest of your life is waiting for you. Uh, a big new start is right here, right now. Although it's uncertain what tomorrow holds, it's absolutely certain that the future will need you and the knowledge you have acquired through interdisciplinary research to remake a better city and nation after COVID-19, more humane, more just, and more resilient. The world needs you, it needs your wisdom, it needs your work, it needs your care, and I have no doubt that as you move forward into the world from the GC, you will carry its values with you as you go. I'm here to deliver you a message from Arundhati Roy, who writes in Crisis and Change. Walk through lightly with little luggage, ready to imagine another world, and ready to fight for it. Congratulations, 2020 graduates. We are very proud of everything you have accomplished during these difficult times. Congratulations to all of the CUNY Graduate Center 2020 graduates. Congratulations again to you and your family. Congratulations to all of the graduates. Congratulations, well done in these very difficult times. I'm very sorry we could not celebrate together, but the resilience I have seen in all of you PhD students is awe-inspiring and reaffirms why the GC is such a special place. Congratulations on reaching this very important milestone in your career. We all look forward to your many accomplishments and success. Congratulations from the Middle East Library! Congratulations and, uh, and best wishes for a very successful future. You've done such incredible work to get this far and we can't wait to see where your path takes you next. I am so proud of you guys. Um, I'm proud and I'm honored to be able to call you colleagues, so congratulations. Congratulations and well done and we wish you all the very best. Go out there and show them how great you are. I'm cheering for you. Congratulations, all graduates. Congratulations, Congratulations class, class of 2020. 